Hi friends, in this video I'll show you how to create a sound on off button for your sketchware project. Now suppose you have a you have four buttons for which you have added a sound code and uh, on clicking each button you play sound and suppose you have added a media player also for playing those sounds. So for that first I'll have to create a media player and a sound pool. Now in on create method for playing the sound, we have to create a number variable sound or you can name it as anything else. And now for you, you have to add the sounds which you want to play using sound manager. Uh, this is the background sound this is the sound which i'll use for my button and this is another sound for button Now here I have added three sounds which are to be used in sound pool and one sound to be used for media player as background drum. So now in on create method for creating the background sound, I have to use media player create and then media player start and before that media player set looping. And if we make it a set looping pool, the sound will play again and again. And for setting up the sound pool, we have to use sound pool max create max stream count. And after that, set each of the number variables, each of the sound number variable, each of the sound variables to the sound ID. Means we have to load each sound to this sound button. Since we have three sounds, we have to write three here for max stream count. And then one by one, we have to load each sound to the number variable sound. Now, first one is button, second one is button two, and third one is crowd. Now, after setting this, for playing the sounds in sound pool, we have to use we again have to set the number variable to stream ID. The stream ID one is for the first sound which we added to number variable. And stream ID two will be for the second sound. So for each button, I'm adding a one, two, and three, so that they will play the first, second, and third sounds. Here you can see that there is a background sound and on clicking button 1 it's first sound, and it is second sound and button 3 is first sound. Okay now in order to create a play pause button for this, what we have to do is first add a number variable. And set this number variable to 1. Then we have to add a new component, new block. You can name it as anything, but I am naming it as sound pool. Now for defining sound pool, 
the sound pool is just an extra block you need not create this so here i have just replaced all these things with the sound pool button now in view area we have to create an on off button now for that i am adding new images This one is for sound on and the other one is for sound off. Now we have to go to logic area and on image view one on click there. First we have to create the image, set the image of image view. To image view on, to volume on. And now in image view, when on click, we have to use if else. And here we have to use if back sound is equal to 1, means when the sound is playing. Set back sound to 0. And if back sound is equal to zero, set back sound to one. And similarly, we have to change the images also. Image view one set image to off. And image view one set image to on. Now for switching off the sounds. We have to use media player pause and then media player set looping false. And for stopping the sound pool, we have to use sound pool. create max stream count and here we have to write 0 for playing the sound we have to use uh, media player set looping true and then media player start and for playing the sound pool we again have to place this sound pool button here. Now that's all we have to do for making an on off button. Let's check this. Oh, here is this background sound that these buttons are playing. Now when we click on this button, the background sound is off and these button sounds also off. So that's all it works. That's how it works. Thank you very much for watching this video.